everyone welcome back it is thursday morning it's currently 20 past nine and i have just got ready i've got my little french twist in and just got a bit more time today till i'm leaving so i thought i'd film a quick video now just while i have the time and the lighting is nice so i thought today i would film my yumiko collection and like a little review just talk about the sizing and yeah i thought i would just have a little chat with you about my yumikos so i have seven yumikos one of them is in the wash so i'll have to insert clips of what it looks like here um so i won't have that one here so actually i'll just start with that one now that yumiko can be seen in the leotard collection i have up on my channel so if you want to see that a bit more up close then go over to that i'll insert a clip of it here but it's basically the tamara style and it's blue and it has like kind of turquoisey trim so that leotard i love the color of the blue it's so nice it's really really flattering i'd really recommend that blue i do not know what it's called i've got my phone here on yumiko so i can keep looking so it's the tamara style and i think it was in the i think the trim might have been cayenne and then the i think the actual body of it was was the techni color in lapis i'm pretty sure but don't quote me on that i can't find my like history my like order history um but yeah i do love that leotard i would size down i would so i have it in a medium and if you can see in the video it like gapes a bit at the side and my friend has the same and hers is in a small and they're like they're not that different in size if i would order again i would have ordered it in a small rather than a medium for reference i am like an extra small to a small in like all leotards so i'm not i never have mediums like in any other styles so the sizing is completely off i would always just say with yumiko to size up just in case the sizing is so off and i think it's better for it to be a bit baggy than like cut because the, the straps can really cut in and really hurt so i definitely would size up if you're considering so yeah that one i love i have it all front lined and the blue is not see-through at all it's not like super supportive because it's not got like a bust panel but it is um fully lined but obviously if you're like wanting a more supportive leotard then it's not really the most supportive but it is really comfy and it looks amazing and the blue is a really good color i definitely recommend it it's not see-through at all so yeah i designed that one actually on yumiko um some of these i found on depop which is where i usually get my yumikos i definitely recommend checking on depop because they come up quite often so this one is one that i got on depop this is the zoe and it's if you can see here it's got a pale like dove gray trim more of a darker gray here for the bust velvet gray velvet here and then a much darker like charcoal here in the back is like this i really like this leotard actually i might actually wear this one today um it's really comfy this one is a size medium but it's really comfy really flattering a bit more supportive as well because it has the bust panel here and i have mine lined it's not front fully front lined but the bust bit at the top is lined um and i don't think the this needs lining actually because it's a dark um gray so you don't see anything through this whereas some of the paler colors you should definitely get fully lined i really like this style and it's really comfy i think it's really flattering the neckline is really pretty the velvet's nice and yeah i'm not sure what the actual colors of these are because i got on depop but i do really love this leotard and the style is really nice i would recommend this style next one is this one which i also got on depop which is also a medium which i really like this one i think it's really unusually um, like designed i think it's so fun green trim and the trim is the same color as the body yeah and then this like it's kind of got like a bit of a shimmer to it but yeah this style is what style is this actually i'm not sure so this style is the marique um but yeah it's like got a square neckline at the top here and a square back which is a little bit lower i i'm not like obsessed with this style because it's quite plain um and it's not like it's not got like a super low back it's not like got a fancy front i think it is quite like a plain basic style so i probably wouldn't get another one in this style but it's really comfy um because yeah it hasn't got like any fancy like cut or anything it's just literally so plain um, and this one is a medium as well and this size 
is really good for a medium like I could probably size down but no actually I, I do like the medium I think I would still get a medium in this yeah the bust panel is lined but the front is not lined and it doesn't need to because it's like quite a dark colour so you can't see anything through it um, and also this one has a low leg line which I wouldn't recommend if you look at this leg line compared to this leg line you can see the difference there like I definitely wouldn't recommend because even the high leg line on the Umicos is still quite low um, so I definitely recommend getting a high leg line because it's definitely not very flattering when like it's kind of like shorts on you it's not a vibe um, so that's the only thing like I do prefer to wear this with a skirt because I don't like the leg line on it um, but it's really comfy and this, yeah if you want a really comfy style then this is a really nice one and then this is the last one that I got on Depop and it's white which is not gonna get worn in my wardrobe very often because it is quite see-through this white one like I don't know if you can see but it is quite like you know it's not very supportive because it's just like it's not got any like bust panelling or anything it's just completely like one thing of material so it's not like the most flattering white leotard but the back is like it makes it worth it I mean look at that back it's so pretty it's all mesh it's so soft the mesh is so nice at Yumiko and then it has the cap sleeves and this is also a medium. Let me see what style this is. Okay, so I think this is actually the Megan mesh. Um, and then you can add the cap sleeves onto it. Um, and it's all just white. The front is white and the back. And the mesh is white as well, which I do really like. I think it's super, super um, like striking. It looks amazing on you. It's just like the, not the most supportive. If you want like a leotard that's really gonna like hold you in, this is not that but it's definitely a statement the neckline is really nice um and it's just so nice to have like your whole back out and it's so soft i definitely love this style it's just white in this probably wasn't the best choice but i got it on depop and it's like a staple to have in your wardrobe if you want a white leotard and this, this is like a nice really nice one to have it's all front lined definitely get it front lined and then these are the last three that i designed myself obviously i designed the tamara one which i haven't got here right now but these are the other ones so this one is the daria this was my first ever yumiko um and i think this is antique this is just the white and then i don't remember what red this is but it's i don't know on the video it looks quite like bright red or it's a bit darker in real life um yeah i really like this one i don't like this style as much as the zoe so the zoe is quite similar it's just it has the band here which I find much more like flattering because it really like is more supportive whereas this one's just like one line of material um so it's not like as like um supportive I prefer the Zoe if you're gonna go for either definitely go for Zo the Zoe but I love the colours of this I think it's a really nice design um I actually got inspired by this on the Yumiko website on their Instagram I think it was and I made it myself but yeah I do like this medium again again with this you could probably size up it's really flattering the colors are really nice there we go and then these two are my most recent which are probably my favorite Yumiko so far I got both of these leotards on Black Friday I think it was usually around the holidays like Christmas and Black Friday they do like discounts they do usually 20% off which is so good if that if you ever see Yumiko doing a discount I definitely get get one at that time because they're so good I managed to get these leotards for around 30 40 dollars which like for Yumiko that's amazing because a lot of them are around 80 dollars um, once you've like fully designed them so I don't know how I managed to get them that cheap because that's obviously more than 20 percent off so it's definitely worth it checking out around like Black Friday um, and just keeping an eye on the website because they go on sale and they're definitely worth it this style is the Sophie Ann and it's a boat neck has a nice low back it's not too low but it's really flattering um, and a nice high neck here and this I got in the colours I got the trim and strap in Celeste and then the body is moon tied so I was trying to recreate a different leotard that I saw um, and someone posted on Instagram and it, it didn't come out at all like how I was expecting it to I thought it was going to be more of like a dusty like darker blue um not such like a bright like pastel blue and i was not expecting these to be like mint but i still like it and i think it's a really nice um leotard it's just like a bit more like 
I think I'm definitely much more of a darker blue kind of girl which you'll see in a minute and so I feel like safer in dark blue whereas this is like obviously it's quite like shiny material so it kind of like shows off your body a bit more which is fine but I'm more into like the darker more like muted blues um and I got this in a medium and I definitely could have sized down in this I think this is definitely too big for me um you'll see in like the over clips that I could have sized down I should have sized down but obviously like I just get everything in a medium um but I could have sized down in this got it in a smaller size got it in a small probably um but I still really like it it's really comfy and it's really thick um it's definitely it's double lined with high leg that's this one and then the last Yumiko I have to show you is my favourite Yumiko and it's the Alicia style and it's all blue so the bottom is navy which you can see the colours are the bottom colour is called dark blue top is called arctic so this bit is called arctic and then this is just white and it's all in the nylon and this is definitely my favourite leotard and um, this is going to be my audition leotard I can feel it um, so it's like a thicker version of the they're kind of similar but I definitely prefer this one so it's like this and then the back is like a V it's so nice it's so flattering on the back um, and yeah I got this in a medium and I probably could have sized up like it is like verging on too small like it does cut into my shoulders a bit by the end of the day I still think it's worth it it's such a nice leotard and I also found this on Instagram this style so all of my inspiration I'm, I'm not original at all making my own styles I'm literally copying everyone but it's good styles if you are not sure of what colours you want to go for definitely check out the Instagram and go on Pinterest and just search Yumiko because there's so many different ones um, on there to get inspiration from um, but yeah this is definitely one of my favourites probably my favourite ever Yumiko um, and I definitely recommend this style obviously this style is kind of like the classic Yumiko um, and it's the classic for a reason, it's so flattering, everyone looks nice in this and I think it's good for all kinds of like bust sizes um, it's super flattering so yeah, that's the last Yumiko um, so that's actually all I have to show you today if you have any more questions about the Yumikos let me know down below if there's anything I missed I'm not sure if there's anything I should have mentioned but yeah, the sizing, definitely size up if you're unsure Obviously Yumikos are super expensive but if you get the right size and the right style and fit for you then they're definitely a good purchase because they're like a long lasting leotard and obviously like the customizability about them is obviously a really good thing so you can really customise what styles suit you, what colours suit you and um, yeah I definitely love a Yumiko. They're definitely worth the hype. So yeah if you have any more questions let me know down below and I will see you next week. Bye!